Peggy 7 In Rayman Legends, we really wanted to um, create new experience with the touch capability of the Wii U. So we use the gamepad in different ways. So you can really uh, drag something, you can point on uh, sp specific enemies in order to destroy them, showing the path. Um, the gyroscope allows us to completely manipulate uh, the whole level. So you really have to talk. Asymmetrical gameplay is really the, the first thing you could expect from a Wii U game, just because you've got the different way of approaching um, uh, the way of playing. Um, on one side you've got the classic controller, on the other side you've got the, the gamepad, and it's, it's really the key of the, the experience we wanted to build. <laughs> In order to really experience the uh, asymmetrical gameplay, we build um, a level that takes place in the Olympus world, where the gamepad player is uh, moving a shield, a flying shield. And uh, the very interesting thing is that the shield has two main uh, uh, tasks. First task, it can be used as a platform, and the other one is that it can protect the player. And we did that because we wanted the two players to interact uh, depending on the situation, I've got to protect you or you've got to jump on, 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 on me and then I can carry you somewhere. It's really doing things all together at the same time, but with completely different responsibilities. The musical maps um, is a real, is really something fun we wanted to do for a long time. When you play a platformer game, the music is very important. You want to play and you want the, the music to be really a, a part of the experience. Yeah. This time we try to go further and to really have the feeling of uh, mixing your actions and at the same time having the music completely synchronized. It's good.